Hi, welcome to Human Wreckage. I wanted to do a little brief one on unlucky inheritance. A North Dakota woman was arrested after she allegedly poisoned her boyfriend in an attempt to claim his $30 million inheritance. Now the man's son says the money never existed in the first place. Police allege that Ida Theo Knoyer used antifreeze to kill Steve Edward Riley Jr. He's been her partner of 10 years. Riley was hospitalized for antifreeze poisoning the day after he went to the airport to sign documents that were supposed to finalize his inheritance. Riley first learned about the supposed inheritance when he was contacted via email by a person claimed to be a lawyer connected to a distant and unknown relative, according to the New York Post. In order to claim the inheritance, however, Riley was told he needed to travel to the airport and sign off on the documents with an attorney. The supposed lawyer never showed up, Riley's son Ryan told the New York Post. It was a scam. It was a stranger who managed to trick my dad into believing it was true, unfortunately. Ryan said that his father wasn't suspicious prior to the airport meeting. He was convinced he had inherited the money and he was going to receive it when the supposed lawyer landed, Ryan told the New York Post. Investigators believe the alleged killing was financially motivated. During police interviews, Knoyer said that as Riley's common law wife, she was entitled to the inheritance. Riley had planned to use the cash to buy acres of land for himself and his five adult sons. Knoyer was supposedly angered when she learned that the North Dakota does not have a recognized common law marriage. Friends of the couple told the police that Riley, 51, and Konoya, 47, were having relationship difficulties prior to Riley's death. On the day Riley became ill from the ingesting the antifreeze, a friend saw Konoya leave Riley's possessions outside the home. They weren't too happy, my dad. Wanted to leave her for a while, Ryan told the newspaper. She just never worked and was leeching off of him. Police said Konoya was convinced the inheritance was real in spite of the fact that at the airport, the meetup never actually occurred. Both Steve and Ina believe the $30 million inheritance was real, but we have no indication that it would ever have been paid out, according to police. Kanoya is currently being held without bond at the Ward County Detention Center.